The internal residency program of the Florida State University College of Medicine and Sarasota Memorial Hospital has been approved by the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education. ABC 7's Alex Redman has information on what this means for residents, the hospital, and our community. Alex. Thanks, Haley. The accreditation approval clears the way for SMH and FSU to begin reaching out to graduating medical students interested in enrolling in the program. This really is a culmination of about 10 years of work uh, with the Sarasota campus and with the Sarasota uh, Memorial Hospital. Now that FSU and SMH have received their accreditation, they can actually begin to reach out to students that want to take part in the residency program. It's been heavy work over the last two years to put together the application, and now we got the good news that we'll be able to start uh, recruiting students next year. Students like third-year medical student and native Floridian Michael Barata. As students in Sarasota, um, we want to try and stay near our families and our loved ones. I know people have um, wives, husbands, children, so it makes it a lot easier to possibly stay home and be in a community that they've known and have kind of thrived in and grown in for the last couple of years. Well, there's a history we know statistically that residents are more likely to stay and, and practice within 100 miles of their residency. I think it's a reflection of the comfort that they develop or the relationship they develop with their specialty partners in that community. So the match process that starts this fall will actually be interviewing fourth year medical students that are graduating with the hopes that these students will then stay and take up their residency here in Sarasota. So in the match, we look for residents that are committed to working with, with a diverse patient population. We look for outstanding clinical skills. We want our residents to be solid, although we will provide training for them, but we want them to be exceptional physicians. Um, and lastly, that they want to take care of the whole patient, um, not someone that is just writing a note and not connecting. Founding Program Director of the Internal Medicine Residency Program, Wilhelmina V.C. Romich, explains residents are MDs. They'll work under the supervision of FSU and SMH's highly qualified board-certified physicians and medical educators. And now that we are officially accredited, we can go out there to try to attract the, the best talent and the best fit for our institution. The residents will rotate through all disciplines of internal medicine during their three years of training. The first FSU SMH residents are slated to begin their training July 1st of 2017. And Alex, do we know yet which areas of our community that these residents will be located? Yeah, we know the beginning stages. They'll be located both at the hospital and in Newtown at the new internal medicine practice that's slated to open there. So I think this is a wonderful thing because these residents will be hands-on and they'll get to know their patients and follow them through and get their mm -hmm. history. And it's fantastic bringing more medical care into Newtown when these, these new bright students. So that's Absolutely. great. All right. Thank you, Alex.